Texas Ranger and Cowboy of the Wild West, John Reynolds Hughes, lived during the late 1800s to the mid 1900s and is believed to be the inspiration behind the legend of Zane Gray's The Lone Ranger. Born in Illinois, Hughes left home at the age of 14 to work on a ranch and become a cowboy in Mound City, Texas. Later, he made his way west into Indian territory and learned the Choctaw and Osage Indian cultures and traditions. Eventually, he settled on his own land in Liberty Hill, Texas. In 1886, Hugh's neighbor lost several of his horses to thieves, some of them belonging to Butch Cassidy's Wild Bunch. Hughes pursued the band alone, killing two of the men and capturing the remaining ones in New Mexico. After a several month pursuit, he was able to return the horses to his neighbor. His actions caught the attention of the local Texas Ranger, Ira Atten. Ranger Atten then invited Hughes to help him pursue murderer Judd Roberts. Together they killed Roberts in a gunfight and Atten recommended Hughes to the Georgetown, Texas Rangers in 1887. Hughes gained a reputation for his relentless pursuit of outlaws and was promoted to captain in 1893 after the death of Captain Frank Jones. Jones had been killed in an ambush by notorious bandits known as the Basque Gang on the Mexican side of the Rio Grande. The Mexican government didn't view this incursion to be a crime, and even though the events didn't happen on Texas soil, Hughes was determined to get justice. He and his frontier battalion hunted down every member of the gang, killing him in a gunfight or by the means of a noose. His persistence earned him the name the Border Boss, making him the nightmare of many outlaws. His commitment to justice even led the dangerous killer Jim Miller to turn himself in while in the midst of attempting to carry out a plot to kill Sheriff Bud Fraser once he discovered Hughes was in town. <laughs> Hughes served as a ranger for 28 years, longer than any other man, and retired in 1915. During his career, he stopped many criminals from both Texas and Mexico. He spent the remainder of his years in El Paso and finally with family in Austin, where he's buried in the Texas State Cemetery. The original Lone Ranger was a novel, The Lone Star Ranger, written in 1915 by Zane Gray. The novel follows the story of various Texas Rangers but was dedicated to John Hughes specifically. The 1950s television series was also inspired by the book and introduced the character Tonto. In Hughes' life, there was no mention of a Native American sidekick, but his early life most likely inspired this. No matter the depiction of his legend in literature or on the big screen, the true John Hughes was a man who committed his life to the service and protection of Texas.